the payments to deposit 34.7250 now, which should match if I go to the first tab, the deposit, if I make a deposit form, those two items should be included in here. So I could check them off if I deposit them together and deposit them at one time. Remember that I could also still use this deposit form to deposit something else, not checking those off, but rather going down below and just saying, I'm gonna make a deposit from a loan or something. The other side going to a loan account or something like that. But I have the option of checking these two things off and I wanna use that option if I'm making deposits or making use of the sales receipts and the received payments, meaning these two forms. This would be the cash-based form if you're using a full service system, this being the accrual-based form that will be populating into this area. Now, again, if I was depositing one of these at a time, I could just check one of them off and then deposit that one and then make another deposit form for the second one. So I could do that. I don't have to deposit them all together. But the point is, if I collected these on the same day and they were cash sales, I know these are quite large to be cash sales, then I would deposit them both. If they were credit card sales and I, and I knew that my credit card company was gonna batch them together to put them into my checking account, then again, I would uh, group them together. If they were electronic transfers that, that were not gonna be grouped together when they hit the bank, then I would deposit them one at a time. The goal is to deposit them in the same grouping as will be shown on the bank statements on the bank statement side of things to make the bank reconciliation easy. So we're gonna deposit them both together. This of course will increase the checking account and decrease the that, that uh, undeposited funds or deposits to be paid or whatever they call it now. Save it and close it. And we're gonna go then to the tab to the right. Why do they have to change things all the time? People changing words to, I don't know, definitions, whatever. We're gonna go into the cash account here. And then this is gonna be the deposit for one lump sum, the 34.7250, which is what we expect to be on the bank statement. Notice that all the deposits therefore are now in the form of a deposit. We don't have these two forms showing up as an increase, the received payment and the sales receipts. If you deposit these directly into the checking account, you would have those transaction types here and you'd have to be mindful of that if you were to filter your transactions by those that are increasing the checking account all right let's go back then that's a minor detail it's not that big of a, de a problem or anything but just something to note here's we got our payments to deposit back down to zero notice that in here it checks them off one at a time one at a time so we can see things increase and decrease quite nicely formatted way good goodly formatted 